Good morning, Gracians and friends. Welcome to Grace Every Morning. I'm Pastor John, the Young Adults Pastor here at church, and I'm excited to pray with you today. We are currently on day 22 out of our 40 days of prayer for our nation, Singapore. The title of my devotional is Word Sense. Today's key passage is taken from Nehemiah chapter 8, verses 7 to 8. Let's read it together. Also, Jeshua, Bani, Sherebiah, Jamin, Akub, Shabbatai, Hodiah, Maaseiah, Kalita, Azariah, Josabad, Hanan, Palaiah, the Levites, helped the people to understand the law while the people remained in their places. Verse 8, they read from the book, from the law of God, clearly, and they gave the sense so that the people understood the reading. As we know that the people came together earlier to hear the word of God being read by Ezra the scribe. However, it was these people, the names that were mentioned in verse 7, that helped others understand the word of God. The passage says that these men went to the people while they remained where they were. I can imagine these young men going into different groups to explain and give sense to the word of God so that everyone can understand and respond to God's word. I want to invite us to pray together. But before we do so, I want to encourage you to just spend a few moments to pray on your own. And then I will conclude by praying together. So first, let's pray that every follower of Jesus will rise up to take ownership of their faith, to read, study, and apply the Word of God in their lives. The second thing, let's pray for our nation. Pray that the people in our nation will be open to receiving God's Word through the transformed life of believers who live out God's Word. Would you join me to pray right now? Father, thank you for speaking to us through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, I know that you love me, that you will guide me through any situation that I face, and you will empower me to live victoriously for you. Help my brothers and sisters tuning in right now to listen to your voice intently, to study your word diligently, and to apply the biblical principles in his or her life daily. Heavenly Father, we also want to thank you and pray for our nation. We thank you for your word that has been given to us. Lord, would you awaken the heart of every believer of Christ, that we will grow in our understanding of your word and help bring sense to your word to the people of our nation. The word says, heaven and earth will pass away, but your word will always remain. There's so many things in our world today that is vying for our attention. So Lord, would you help us to focus on what truly matters, on the eternal value of your word. May the people of our nation be opened to receiving your word, to find meaning in the word of God that brings life to their soul and spirit. Grant all believers boldness and courage to speak, share, and live your word through our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So thank you for joining us this morning on Grace Every Morning. And as we engage in 40 days of prayer for our nation, do visit the website lovesingapore.org.sg for the written devotional. And I want to encourage you also to gather in smaller groups, in your grace groups or families and friends to just take some time to pray for Singapore this week. Have a blessed day ahead and know that we love you and we are here for you.